Welcome to Courage and Conversation. I'm Janet Nordine, licensed marriage and family therapist and registered play therapist supervisor from Las Vegas Play Therapy. And my guests today are Dr. Peggy Sabayos and Dr. Lacavia Taylor. Welcome to the the show. I guess it's the show now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. You are welcome. We are going to be speaking about the Las Vegas Play Therapy Children's Mental Wellness Symposium called What About the Children? And I had the opportunity to see both of you present at Association for Play Therapy this last year um, in Palm Springs. And I was just really impressed by what you had to talk about. And I, when we decided, Lynn, Louise Wonders and I decided to try to put this conference on, I really wanted you to come out so we could offer our attendees a full range of important topics. Will you share with us what you're going to spe be speaking on? Sure. Whoever um, wants to go first. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, yeah. So, um, well, um, for me, I think it's really it's a really important topic. I think that um, it's it's a topic that is really close to my heart, um, and mm -hmm. I. I believe it's so important when we work with uh, minoritized communities that we are so aware about our own competencies related to mm -hmm. multicultural issues and also social justice advocacy and how we are integrating um, more than just competencies. I think it's more about like our own self-awareness related mm -hmm. issues of privilege and oppression and how we are integrating that awareness into the work that we do with the children and the families that we work with. And so yes. um, so when I think about what we're doing, that's exactly, I think it's for me, it's about how are we engaging in that self-awareness and how that self-awareness translate into the clinical practice um, yeah. influence what we do in the playroom. I love that. Did you have anything you'd like to add, Dr. Taylor? Yes, of course. So yes, same, a little bit of the same. With, I want to add a little bit, though, to I really love the topic, um, just knowing how important the culture is in our lives, our daily experiences. It is just something that needs to be talked about. And I know Peggy experience and I have experiences. We have so many people will come and say, it feels big. When you say social justice and children and play therapy, what does that look like? I don't know what that means. There are, there are a lot of phenomenal, don't get me wrong, phenomenal presentations that do discuss. This is an intervention if you're working with this cultural group or this you know, um, area of identity. However, what you see a lot limited discussions about is that self-awareness piece that Dr. Ceballos mm -hmm. was speaking about is limited. And we have participants come up to us at the end and say, oh my gosh, this is the first presentation that really recalled me to look at myself as a play therapist. And not only that, my identities as a play therapist. So um, ironically too, Peggy would do her own presentations. I would do mine. We're like, wait a minute, why aren't we presenting together? And so I think that's a special piece that brings us together with both of our identifiers and who identify as play therapists. I think it just makes the perfect recipe to show our passion for this topic. I had that same experience when I was in your um, breakout session in Palm Springs, you know, I had to look at my own self, like what, what am I bringing into the play therapy room? What am I as a white female bringing there? And how am I working with my diverse population of clients? And um, I also belong to kind of a minority population of adopted people. I'm an adopted person. And that's an area that I'll be speaking on as well, that is sometimes overlooked, because it's definitely a culture within a culture, mm -hmm. within culture. I mean, you can really yes. go deep, right? So um, I come with that lens of um, kind of being an unseen minority, I guess, um, in a way. And so how do we integrate all of that and help our clients be seen and heard in a way that's authentic for them? Yes. Yeah. And I, I'm glad that you're bringing that up because I think it's um, that's something that I always hear from our participants is that mm -hmm. When we talk about uh, multicultural and social justice, that we're mm -hmm. looking at this intersectionality of identity. So yes. we're not focusing on one a specific um, mm -hmm. identity, but we're really wanting this self-awareness about that intersectionality of identities. And within that, there are so many different identities that we need to look at and yes. be aware of um, for ourselves, for our clients, and, and what that that in, even the interaction of those identities and how they mm -hmm. come together mm -hmm. in that relationship. Yes, yes, I love that. 
I love that you're presenting on something that is um, so big, but also so um, minute. You know, mm -hmm. there's like bigness and smallness within the same topic. Um, what what brought you to be interested in teaching play therapists? And so this this conference is new for Vegas because I um, I'm the only play therapist in private practice in the city. There are others that work in schools or work in different parts of our community or um, in the rural part of the state. But uh, as a play therapist, I've worked with children for a long time and people in Vegas see um, play therapy as all oh, this new thing. So there's going to be non-play therapists coming. What can they get from this training? What are you going to share with them? You know, that's a really good question. And I think none as well as play therapists can benefit from this. And so I think most of all, it kind of goes back to what we were saying, develop their own self-awareness and self-identity. And then not only that, how their own self-identity interacts and intertwines with the identities of the yes. child and a child's family. And so even if, again, they don't have an identity as a play therapist, they will be able to walk away with not just knowledge, but I think mm -hmm. tangible, practical skills that they can put at the forefront so that they may be able to communicate to anybody they're interacting with and help them understand how this might help a child or even a family member. I love that. Did you have anything you wanted to add? I think, no, to that. I think um, very similar. I think I, I was thinking when you asked that question, it came to me. Um, I was thinking about so many other professionals that work with children, right? Like teachers, mm -hmm. um, teachers yes. where immediately came to mind and how mm -hmm. beneficial this can be um, for those, um, for professionals in these other settings that are not just play therapies, because a lot of what we talk about and we train on um, is applicable, right? It's applicable to these, I these interactions that we have with families, with children in so many other different professional settings than just the play I, therapy relationship. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. And we need to have the words play therapist in our training so we can get those APT credits. Yes. But <laughs> this is really applicable to anyone working with human beings, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you I know? agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And, you know, being able to come to a training where you're going to get your CEs and um, cultural competencies is, is also a plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's what I love about the play therapy. Fear. Our skills do translate so well. Yes, no for matter sure. what, it's like we, that's another way for us to advocate for play therapy. And yeah. the, like you said, the mental health professionals, like you're saying, to learn from that, even if they're not mental health, but they work with children. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so you're both in Texas and you both work in um Institutes of Higher Learning Education. Do you also work in any private practice or clinic settings? Currently, no, I'm not working. Uh, but previously, so like within the last year, I have. Um, and um, a lot of what we talk about in this topic is always at the forefront in learning something new and seeing how just even like you talked about, like adoption or um, geographic location, how much a lot of that is playing a role yes. in children's life. And those are things that don't automatically come to us. We kind of think more like the race, gender, um, SES, but some of just those other identifiers. So again, not currently practice, but um, within the last year, yes. yes. And, and I think for me, uh, a lot of the research that I do and some of the work that I do is in the school settings. And we do mm -hmm. a lot of play therapy programs in the school settings and supervise a lot of that um, play therapy uh, services within the school. So I, um, even though I'm not um, practicing in private settings and clinic settings, I do still um, have, yes, a lot of, um, I go to the school settings and, um, and keep my contact and uh, in the school settings. I, and I have a background in school counseling prior to getting into yeah. education. I love that. The schools and the teachers are just so overwhelmed. I mean, that's yes. how it is in Las Vegas. You know, I have so many clients that come to me because the teacher said they need to stay in their chair. They need to be able to focus or they need all the things, you know, you know right. what I'm talking about. And how do we work with schools and support them? It's just such a big, big undertaking. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and I think it ties really well with our topic too, because we know a social justice action is providing services in the schools yes. to allow that accessibility to therapy. So I think it just all—I oh, love it how it all connects. Yeah, I love that too. I, I, everything belongs, and everything comes together exactly how it's supposed to. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything about Las Vegas that you're curious about? Have either of you been here and visited here? 
Yes, I ha I have. <laughs> I have been, and we're looking forward to going there together Good. as friends. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a fun place. I, I have yeah. no negative things to say. It's a lively. I remember being surprised I could go to the mall at 10 p.m. at night. And that's just yes. so unusual <laughs> living in Texas. Yes. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And particularly bringing, like, just coming, like, we're, we're play therapists. So just a mm -hmm. playful day. I mean, yes. but yeah, looking forward to coming to Las Vegas. I love it. And, what a, and I haven't, so I haven't oh. been there. So I'm looking okay. forward to uh, my okay. friends going me around. And hey, uh, I did not. Oh awesome. my gosh. Okay. This is new. I, I thought you were. Okay. This is great. I have not. Yes. <laughs> Well, our uh, conference is being held at the South Point Hotel and Casino, which is on the Las Vegas Strip, the famous Las Vegas Strip. It's further south. It's not on like where you're going to see all the neon lights and things, but it is on the Strip, close enough to be able to go play in the evening after the conference and make it back um, easily for the morning. Um, the hotel itself has a movie theater and a bowling alley and, of course, a casino. It has a beautiful spa and pool, so there's something for everyone there. Um, Lots of, they have one of the only 24 hour Starbucks, Starbucks in town within the hotel lobby. So get caffeinated in the middle of the night if you need to. Uh, <laughs> I think yeah. it's fun, but yeah. we're still looking forward to hosting everyone and um, just welcoming whoever is supposed to be here and showing up and having fun together. And we're going to take good care of everyone. And I'm so excited about that. And that just you get to, great. you get to experience Vegas. Yes. Yeah. All this right. is my hometown. I've lived here my whole life and I really believe uh, in trying to better children's um, services here in town. So I so appreciate you saying a big yes to this conference. Yes. Yeah, we well, are I have, excited. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I'm, yay. I have a few, um, I've been doing these rapid fire questions. So I'll ask the question. Then one of each of you can answer if that feels comfortable to you. Okay. Okay. Cat or dog dog i'll say cat <laughs> okay um what is your go-to lazy dinner that you can just put together and it's in a jiffy oh for me spaghetti spaghetti yeah spaghetti okay um what is a song you can listen to on repeat Ooh, oh this is a good one <laughs> hmm Currently for me, it's everything Taylor Swift. Just push play. <laughs> that would be my, my kids. My kids would be <laughs> Taylor Swift. I, Swift I, I have yeah. a rule. Like, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> what you say, Dr. I think for, I haven't been listening to music. I've been talking a lot on my drive. I usually listen to music in the car. I will say uh -huh. I like almost all music, but I can't think of one song right now that would be on repeat. Okay. Yeah, I don't know one, but I, I actually, so um and I, I listen to a lot of latin music so i guess if i had one i, yes, would, yeah. have to, I would have to go with one of my latin yeah, yeah. Think of that genre yes yeah, nice, nice, nice. um finish this phrase the way to my heart is <laughs> the way to my car heart your heart oh, okay sorry um <laughs> that's a hard one too there you go. Okay. I'll say understanding. Awesome. I was thinking about sushi. I mean, that like, <laughs> do you want me to well, do that, something? I mean, just give me some. We were going too deep with that. <laughs> yeah, we went too deep. Yeah, we want to go that. there. Sweet, sweets will be the way. If we want to go, the like the fun, the sweets will be the way to my heart. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Last question: um, Cannonball into the pool or dip a toe in first? Oh, dip the toe in first for me yes definitely same <laughs> no yes. no just jumping right in okay. oh no. No. Okay. it takes me I'm a while the the, the, yep. yeah i will take me a while okay, just to the water. yes <laughs> yes yes that. yes i love that well again thank you so much for for joining me and talking to me it's yeah. great to get to know you both a little bit better and i'm so looking forward to september for the las vegas play therapy uh children's mental wellness symposium what about the children you can register. Early bird is still open at www.lasvegasplaytherapy.com. And we look forward to welcoming you both and hearing what you have to teach us. Yeah, go forward to it. Yes, thank you. Thanks, Thanks so, much. so much. Thank you.